sounds so stupid, I know. Anyway, you guys have been waiting for it for quite a while. Here it is. This is the Jeffree Star Blue Bud Palette. I did a I look on it. I love this palette. It is a... Let's just check the thing out. It comes in, as always, something nice. Uh, the blood sugar... I'm going to show you the blood sugar. The blood sugar came in this, like, cassette-type carrier thing. This one came in more of a box. You can see it here. It looks like a wood grain. It looks cool on video. It's not, like, that special. But it opens up, and you've got... I thought there were stars in the top. I could have sworn there were stars in the answer. Anyway, you get the cute little trim, and you get this little carton, and it has all your information on the back. And once you get into this bad boy here, you get this guy. And it's very... Let me show it next to the blood sugar. Here's it next to blood sugar. And you can see they are... Oops. They are almost identically, actually they pretty much are identically in size. Now the blood sugar has the basic two clips. This has a real fancy one. It is a little bit thicker because of the, how it's made. And I know you guys, I'm not a big on swatches because they're so subjective. They're so easy to you know, mix around. Anyway, well, I'm just going to show you a couple swatches of colors that really, the one thing when you get these, they are very tight. It'll loosen up after time the same way the blood sugar did. That is it. Let me put it upside down so I don't blind you. That is it there. Now, some of my favorite colors are Cullinan, which that's this white pearly color. If you don't know what Cullinan is, it is the largest diamond ever found. It is 3,106 carats. It was cut down into nine large stones and I believe 75 smaller stones, if I'm correct. But one of which being the largest stone in the scepter of England's little scepter. It's the center stone. Anyway, <laughs> I know too much about diamonds. But that is it there and it's very pretty it's very reflective i like this color that's one of my favorites it's, that's why we're going through um blue monday is also this is if i had to pick one color out of here to be my favorite this would be it it reminds me so much of the 80s and so much of the neon colors of the 80s yes it's a blue but if you saw the look that I did, it almost like made like a glow behind the main look. I'm going to add a little more to this. Swatches are so hard. Also, Blue Monday is a pressed pigment. So in order to show it properly, you would have to kind of pack it on there. And I'm doing it with my finger. There's it there. And... But it's hard to show the color in a swatch like that. The other one is called Flourishing. If you've been watching my channel for any length of time, you know I absolutely love teal colors. That is that one there. And the other one is Entitled. I'm just going to show you four of my favorite colors. Entitled, which is a shimmery teal. That's, that's what's there. These are extremely vibrant colors. They are really just bright as can be. Sorry, I'm trying to find something to wipe this off with. Da -da -da. Brush cleaner, never fail. Um, I will tell you that they will stain. Uh, you do want to use a, I, I use a um, primer, eyeshadow primer. I like to use the Pia Louise base. Um, to remove it, I use the, um, the Clinique take off the day. It's a bomb. That worked great. Let's talk about this. I just noticed. I just threw a little highlight, a little highlighter on. This has become my all-time favorite highlighter. I'll just throw this in real quick because a couple of you guys have asked what I've been using. This is the Tribe Highlighter Three from Juvia's Place. That's this one here, and this is just just incredible and it's so natural looking but you can build this up i mean you could look like the 
He did that. Even the light up like Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer. But I had to show you that. <laughs> I'm not big on highlighters. And when I do get into a highlighter, it's always more of a glowy one. Anyway, that is the palette. Um, there are, like I said, some of these are um, pressed pigments. And when you get into pressed pigments, that's just, that's just, um, heavier it's heavier in pigment and heavier in um color and vibrancy but it is a little more difficult to work with and if you haven't worked with one before which if you haven't you you must have been been under a rock because there are so many now it's just you have to learn more how to pack on the pigment and then blend out the edge pack on the pigment blend out the edge and keep going back and forth to really get that vibrancy but um if you watch several of my videos one being the blue eye palette i show you on there how to do that but on to the other thing i have got several several of the um the brushes gotten ready i haven't set them up into kits i'm trying to figure out how to do this exactly how to make it fair and try to help out everybody that can. Um, if any of you guys have ideas how that would be easiest to do, I've thought about doing it through my Poshmark because then that way you guys could pay for shipping. That would help me out tremendously. And But it would be, uh, you would wind up have to pay like a dollar for the item and then pay the shipping, which is like six bucks. So, but um, trying to figure it out, it would make it fair and try to keep it where nobody else buys the item except for you guys it's it's just been a difficult procedure i have so many brushes and so much stuff that i want to put together in kits for you guys and try to start giving back um i really wish more youtubers did that out there but they just they really don't oh i meant to show you i told you guys i would show you this in my light this is my studio light it has my name here um, I know if one of you guys is going to be, oh, where did you get that? I have to get one. Um, Moon Jelly on Etsy. It's where I got it. These cups alone, the Yeti cups are about, I think they're like 35, 40, about 40 bucks after shipping and everything. That was $88 painted and with my name on it. And my name is under the paint. So the sticker, the, well, not sticker, but the vinyl is up and it's sealed down in the paint so it doesn't come off. Anyway, guys, that is it. I just wanted to get this up, get you guys to go ahead and start entering. Um, I think the easiest way for me to do this is go over to my Instagram. I'm going to have a post on there. And underneath that, make sure you like it. Make sure you post a comment. And I'm going to have uh, where you post three friends. Just um, three of your besties, three people that would like to see you win <laughs> anyway guys have a great day i love you much and i'll see you later bye